This is Stephanie Manley with copycat.com. I'm going to show you how you can make a baked potato that's just like the Outback Steakhouse with that wonderful salty crust on the outside. So let's get started and solve this mystery. We're going to start out with baked potatoes. Now use as many as you like. Now I'm using some that are roughly the size of my hand. I'm guessing that's about a half pound. You're going to need some kosher salt which you can buy at your regular grocery store. Um, if you haven't tried it, it's a great ingredient um, to use for salt, um, lots of flavor. And we're gonna use a vegetable oil. It doesn't matter. You can use just vegetable oil, sunflower, safflower, um, corn oil. Um, I would stay away from olive oil and peanut oil simply because I think that can add a little extra flavor that I'm not quite looking for here. Now you don't need to pierce your baked potato with a fork or a knife or anything. You're just going to um, dip a paper towel into um, a small container and just rub the whole potato down with oil. And um, we're doing this those, so the salt crust will stick on it. Um, and this does another thing as well. It keeps the potato nice and light and fluffy in the inside because we're not losing any um, of the potatoes natural water so it really works out well so by now you've preheated your oven to about 350 degrees and it's heating away and it's getting ready for us and the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna sprinkle on some salt now we're not gonna wrap these in foil because this could knock off a little bit of the salt um, so that's it we're just gonna sprinkle it with salt and we're gonna pop it in our 350 degree oven. I'm going to bake these until they're done. And for me, that takes about an hour. So probably close to an hour for you as well. So go ahead, put these in the oven and then take them back out. Let them cool for a little bit. Um, but you can see the salty crust has remained and these are wonderful, light and fluffy on the inside. So I wanna show you what this looks up like a little bit closer how fabulous is that that's perfect and um i love the underside because it browns just a little bit it's a little bit crispy on the bottom i don't think there's anything much better than that um so here we go here's our baked potato i'm going to go ahead and cut this open you can see again the salt stays right on the top to make it so delicious now i'm going to Go ahead and prepare this baked potato. Now, of course, it's still screaming hot. So use a towel, use something other than your fingers at this point because burning yourself before dinner is never, never fun. So what comes next? Well, of course, we're going to top our baked potato with the favorite ingredients of our choice. Um, I'm a butter and sour cream kind of girl. Um, but as you can see, these are really, really easy to do. You just need a baked potato. You need um, a little bit of vegetable oil. Again, your choice is fine. And some kosher salt. That's the, you know, like the potato, the non-negotiable ingredient. And um, we're going to bake these. They take about an hour in a 350 degree oven. And that's it. How wonderful is that? So here we go. We're topping our baked potato with a little bit of butter, um, sour cream, and chives. And that's how you can make a baked potato just like they do at the Outback Steakhouse. Don't forget to subscribe to the U channel so you can see more copycat recipes.